Victory or Death Tribe World, my name is Carlin Jones, and I'm giving you a Starfighter full episode review. And a TV show I'm going to be doing a full episode on is The Tribe. I've been doing a lot of tribe stuff. Uh, season 1, episode 46. So uh, this was a very classic episode. It's the episode where the tribe circus gets to uh, infiltrate the mall and... Um, the Trap Circus and the Mall Rats kind of have this huge battle, all right? <laughs> if you can call it a battle. Some of the comments are, are saying that <laughs> it's it's just like Game of Thrones, Battle of the Bastards, but <laughs> it's uh it's it's a good episode. It's funny. It's it's a little hard to watch from just the choreograph. The the fight choreographing is just it's awful, but if you love the tribe, you love this episode because there's so many uh, great character developments that uh, that happen in this episode and great uh, characters that in this episode, it starts something for them. You know, it starts like a little seed in them for their character development and it really flourishes onto season two uh, characters such as Casey, Tizan, um, um, well, I would love to say Zandra. There, there's a lot of character development for Zandra in this episode, but uh, unfortunately, she didn't get to make it to season two. Uh, I often think about that, what Zandra would be like in season two, three, four, and five, if she even made it that far. Um, but yeah, this is uh, season one, episode 46. We're going to get started. Uh, normally, I would write these uh, whatever reviews I'm doing down and go over them, but I'm just going to straight up wing it because my honest reaction, I think it will be uh, pretty, pretty good for this. So um, I'm going to have a timer and then, you know, when it starts, that's when the, the intro of the entire show will start and uh, you just start it from there. So this episode is 25 minutes and one second long. So it's going to be around there. And then, uh, I'm going to talk my way through it. I'm going to watch it, talk my way through it when I when I need to and yeah, it should be <laughs> it should be a lot of fun. Okay, I'm going to get started in 5 4 3 2 1. You know, I grew up I didn't I never grew up watching the tribe. But I grew up knowing it was there. Uh, back when I was younger, there was a TV show called Wham. I said TV show. It was a TV channel called Wham that was on the movie network. I think it was like if you had stars and you had that subscription, they would have Wham. And Wham had all these really cool TV shows that were not from America. Like uh, Seriously Weird, uh, Weird Science. Well, I think Weird Science is... Well, I think that's a Canadian show. I don't, I'm not too sure, but... And then they would also show the tribe there, but I was never. I'm never. <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> Top hat. Oh my goodness! I think Top Hat is. If I'm if I'm gonna ever make a top ten most underrated characters of all time top hat would at least be in the, in the top three at, at least <clears throat> so bob the dog um i've been listening to the tribe podcast and i know that's actual dog of the creator the show ray or raymond but Bob on the show, he doesn't he seem like such a little, just like a boring dog. Like he just doesn't do anything. He doesn't bite people. He doesn't protect, protect his tribe members. He just, he's just a lazy dog. <laughs> See, when I first watched this, I was so excited. I'm like, yes, okay. I was planning out in my in my mind from all the video games and movies I watched, like, all right, this is how we gotta defend, this is what we're gonna do, this and that. And like Amber's giving like that speech, like, yeah, we're gonna go out here and we're gonna defend our tribe or die trying. 
like I was so pumped up and so hyped and then from what the fight actually was <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it was awful <laughs> so stupid yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Trudy. Now, eventually, I'm gonna make a top ten characters of all time, and spoiler spoiler alert: Trudy's gonna be number one. <laughs> Top Hat has such, uh, his character just has everything you need for a character to just stand out and be so interesting. He has the outfit, he has the, you know, kind of like that dialect language, you know, Gargan talk a little bit. Uh, the way he walks, the, the, the way he stands and how he communicates with people. Very interesting character. I didn't ever look up who that actor was. I went to look him up. You know, every time I see watch a tribe episode and I see Ebony and I see her sisters, I'm like, oh, what a talented family. That's such a talented family. Can sing, dance, act. Yeah, someone in a comment said this was like Battle of the Bastards, which is really funny. <laughs> now oh, here it goes. Now it's starting. <laughs> the cringiness. Uh, okay, it's not so bad so far. I was a little upset at this. I'm like, KC, get in there, f help, fight, do something. But I guess that fits into his, his, his character's nature. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they gotta stop treating them like kids. I know they're kids, but listen, it's gonna be worse if they if y'all lose and then they get captured. And the things Top Hat's gonna do to them. See, I thought this was good. I was like, all right, finally, all right, now finish them. The ones that are on the ground, finish them. No, oh, no, don't retreat. You retreat. I just, if I was planning this whole thing out, and if I was tribe leader, a lot of things would be different. I want to know who she is, the yellow lady, or I guess gold. That's weird. Ugh, don't make it so obvious, guys, huh? Don't do it yet. You know what the funny thing is? I know I know my knots. Because the job I do, I have to do like certain knots and whatnot. And when I saw this, I'm like, oh no, it got caught. How did it get caught? And then they show the knot. They show the knot and it's just like... 
it's just like any child who just trying to tie something off they just do loops and loops and, <laughs> and whatnot <laughs> I'm like no, a, a simple trucker's hitch would would uh, help that situation out. Mm -hmm. uh, here it is. They're throwing pillows. I don't know what that's supposed to do. So someone in the comments mentioned that Tizan jumping on uh, Top Hat's back. Uh, in a previous episode or episodes. Uh, Taizan's been showing off her uh, martial arts skills, trying to teach people like how to do martial arts and stuff. And she's saying like she's good at it and she's had practice and training and all this stuff. And I'm like, all right, I can't wait to see that. But then this episode just shows her just jumping on someone's back. I think that's just a lot of wasted potential. I know, okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Just go down there. So, I I was going to make a comment and say, yo. Alright, yeah, Bray has like, this kind of like, this pool stick. Which is nice. That helps. Um, but you guys have like, pots and pans, right? Oh, I absolutely love when they play this uh, the tribal chants throughout the show. I love it. Oh, is that an epic moment? I gotta make a list of uh, top epic moments the the music appeared. Absolutely love it. So this is a not a bad idea, but how did it get caught? Amber, where have you been? Oh, I love this music. I almost want to rewind back, but I can't. Why is that there? It's as if the screenwriter just said, hey, let's just put this here. That would have worked. That would have done. Actually, this works even better. Okay, he's crawling. Stump him out. Just step. Just stomp him out. You can. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> All right, Dale. Now finish him. What do you? Oh, I can't. I just can't. <clears throat> yeah, it was that. I think season one of the tribe had a real problem with its identity, in a sense. Well, you know, normally you're trying to figure out your identity for any show in season one, but there were, there's been a handful of episodes where it was as if they're telling us this show is for kids and for kids only. And then they had other episodes where it's like, hey, we, we tackle some serious adult issues, too, for young, young adults, young teenagers, such as, you know, the Zandra being raped and... Um, Uh, a lot of uh, psychological schizophrenic characters, um, uh, psychologically damaged and sch schizophrenic characters, such as Zoo, Top Hat, uh, The Guardian, um, even Teen Pregnancy. They, they talk about that. It just seems like they just never chose a side. In this episode, it just, it, it's like, no, no, we were a kid's show. We were a little kid's show.
Dale, stand up. <laughs> Just stand up. Yeah, a lot of pillow throwing. I don't know what that's what that's gonna do, guys. Oh wow, look at the fire extinguishers. Why didn't we know about the fire extinguishers? Yeah, Amber. Not like you're doing anything. <laughs> I love Amber though. <laughs> So the fire extinguishers would have been a good idea in terms of, if like if I'm, if I'm thinking of how to defend ourselves, maybe towards that entrance of the door, as soon as they broke it open, you know, I think I would have had like two people with fire extinguishers by the side. So you really won't see, kind of like when someone opens the door, you, you don't really see someone behind the door or next to the door. And then you just start boiling them with fire extinguishers. And then as they're blind, you know, you kind of just bull, bull rush them with pots and pans and knives or whatever. The top hat just do a front flip. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know who Top Hat is. Like, what's this character's backstory? Oh. This guy. Oh yeah, that was pretty crazy too. Zandra was gonna kill um Tizan. Seems like Zandra would do that though. <laughs> like I'm shot, but I'm not shot. <laughs> They don't even have weapons. Like, if we would just fight them, like, at, like, right now, they have nothing on us. Imagine if the try was filmed, like, as, like, an HBO show. <laughs> that would be wild, the things that would, that would happen. Was that a sound effect? <laughs> I'm trying to think who was the best character in season one.
<laughs> one thing that is annoying throughout the series uh, from seasons one to five is the sound effects of Bob and the sound effects of Brady, the little baby. Oh my goodness. Like, we get it, it's the baby. <laughs> So does he have, like, contacts in? Like, uh, in one eye? Because look at his eyes. See, everything about Top Hat just makes him look so cool, you know, as a character. Like, just so interesting. Like, the, way he, uh, the way he talks, the way he dresses... No what? <laughs> Look at them, they're just doing whatever. You could just get the pots and pans and just hit them. Ew. Such, yeah. This episode, they're definitely like, it's a kid show. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, but best, best character in the, um... In the, in the whole first season... I, I don't know. It's really hard to think think about. I will say season five was single handedly saved by Ram. He was the only good character in that season. They butchered Lex, they butchered Ebony, they butchered Amber. Um if it wasn't for Ram, season five would be Oh, look at Casey. Look at the vulnerability. This is what I'm talking about. He's definitely one of the highlights of this episode. It's the way he's so scared right now. I honestly believe that's like PTSD. I think he's been through that kind of trauma before. Um, what's the actor's name? Is his name Ari? Um, I forgot, but pretty well acted. You know, as for what kids can do, I'm always uh, impressed with kid actors. <laughs> I'm sorry. See, there's a lot of things that's not supposed to be funny. keep kicking him Casey but yeah that I I think throughout this and well until this episode I know I didn't really like Casey I thought they should have just kicked him out of the tribe but at this moment when he saves Zandra for being raped I was like okay Casey is for the tribe he's officially for the tribe Who are these people? Most of these people are not kids. They're just grown actors. <laughs> what a mi 
missed opportunity not putting Top Hat in other seasons. Imagine if there wasn't a Chosen. Like, that whole angle never never happened. But instead, Top Hat came back. More insane than ever. And a whole tribe of circus performers. And, and bit by bit, they're taking over the city. And it's up for the mall rats to do something. This Elvis guy is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be a way out. We can lift that thing, can't we? Oh, look, the episode's over. Okay. Um, I love this. I love the end credits. Where do I go from here? Yeah, so that was a... Uh, that was the episode. I didn't feel long. I didn't feel long at all. That's why I think The Tribe is like the best show to binge. It's amazing. Yeah, I totally missed out on this show in my childhood. But, uh, still great no matter what age you are. You can find a way. Together, make it. Yeah, I think when I got close to finishing the series, I I figured it out that this is a soap opera. <laughs> and now I'll start watching other soap operas. Why not? Um, but yeah, um, overall th- thoughts on the, um, on the episode. Once again, this episode's a classic in terms of just top tribe episodes i'm gonna make a top 10 tribe episodes probably top 20 top 15 or whatever but uh this one definitely uh takes the cake it it definitely deserves to be on there but um yeah great is a, a really good episode it's entertaining um uh, really the only bad things is it's really just a choreograph of the of the of the fight it's just it's just really bad it's really awful but and you know every every fight on this show in the entire series is bad uh, granted they get better season by season but that's not saying much um i think the only only decent fight that was bearable to watch was like the ram versus ved but even then that was cheesy as hell <laughs> but uh yeah uh, season one episode 46 um is really uh it's a classic they really need to uh name these episodes i think i'll i'll name it myself probably name it invasion tribe circus invasion I, yeah that would be a good title but um yeah, once again, I think Zondra is a huge highlight of this uh, episode, along with Casey, and especially Top Hat. I think Top Hat stole the show a little bit. But, um, um, yeah, I think Tribe Circuit is definitely one of the most impressive, creative tribes in the entire series. And, um, and I think this episode kind of shows it, especially with Top Hat, the, the arsonist. The nurse, the narcissist, narcissist, arsonist that he is. Um, anything else I can add to this? I'm trying to see. Probably go back and like collect notes on it. I don't know why it's like messing up right now, but yeah. It's. Uh, I I wish I wish uh Chloe Chloe. And Patsy had a little bit more to do. They're kids, but they're not they're not that young. Like they could they could hit someone. They could still hit someone or harm someone, so they shouldn't be out there. I thought that was pretty stupid. Um Tizen running and hiding and not using her martial arts. Thought that was stupid. Uh this Elvis guy. I thought that was stupid. Yeah, there's a lot of cringy 
dumb things about this episode but there there is also at the same time a lot of great things about it the continued conflict with Tizan and um Zandra is throughout this episode and it's great um man I really wanted to see that play out to season two um but no, I, I think it's great I think um you know a lot of people in the comments are also saying that Lex if Lex was there the whole battle would have went different because Lex is like the protector he's he's the street fighter and this and that but I don't know after watching the entire series or maybe that it's just inconsistent writing but Lex you kind of think about it Lex has only one like maybe at the most two fights that he's been in and the rest of the fights probably you can argue like maybe 10 12 fights that he's been in the entire series he's lost them and um he's they made him very in, in, incompetent in terms of a, a street fighter so i don't think he would have done much honestly if he was there but well i don't know we'll see all right well i mean we won't see but I will, I, this tribe podcast that's happening, I think it's really cool that we get to ask them questions and stuff like that. I have millions of questions for the creator, uh, Raymond. I would love to just ask him th- those kind of stuff. Um, also, for this episode, someone commented, it's very hard to take any serious dramatic battle that they're going through serious when they're using the same music they use to, like, eat food and talk to each other and confine in each other in sad moments. <laughs> I think I think that's really funny. <laughs> they they use the same this is the same music they use when they eat beans and chill out. <laughs> that's, yeah, it's just I don't know. It's, I mean it needs a lot of work. But this first season was completely magical and um i I do love this episode i I do um you know what as top character best character of the entire season i don't know it might it might it might be zandra it could be i think that actress really did play her well And clearly from, because we know Zandra could be hard to handle sometimes. She doesn't take responsibility because she just doesn't know how to. And she's never been in that situation. You know, still her parents treating her as a kid. But we just really grew attached to her from episode one to episode 52. And... You can argue against her, not agree, not agree with her, uh, find her annoying, be disappointed in her, you, all these things. But, but at the end of the episode, at the end of every episode, it's as if she's like your sister and you care for her. And, um, and in some episodes, you can even under, un- understand like understood why she would do certain things but um yeah man i really wish she would have made it to season two and three and and four and five i honestly think from my theory of how Xandra would have played out if she would have made it i honestly do believe that um i don't know what season but i really do believe that she would have left lex I think she would have, because I really thought she was just going through that phase of like, oh, I want this, I want to change him, I want to do this, and once she kind of grew out of that, and she became a little bit more wiser and smarter, because, you know, I think every human being needs to, or eventually they'll date someone who's not really that good for them, and it's a whole learning experience of what you are, what you look for in a relationship, and what you need and want so once she discovers that i think she kicks lex to the curve and then lex really truly 
believes that he made a mistake and he took her for granted and wants her but then and it's gonna be like this whole love thing in season two but they don't get together season three i think zandra probably would have been in the mall captive you know as one of the slaves for the chosen and whatnot um you know doing the groundwork from the inside Um, I don't know who her love interest would be. Oh, maybe it would be Ryan. The Ryan Celine kind of love triangle. But then even then, Celine didn't really like Ryan like that. I think she really cared for him. But in terms of like being together forever, she no, nah, she was always just so into Bray. That was weird. But yeah, this episode is pretty, pretty, pretty good. pretty good top has <laughs> top has still is the show but yeah so uh that is the full episode review of the tribe season one episode uh 46 i'm gonna call it tribe or i'm gonna call it uh circus invasion because they really should have uh named these episodes i'm gonna do more shows um just gonna figure out what maybe like some clueless episodes for an old tv show back in like the uh, early 2000s maybe uh my so-called life scrubs um south of nowhere some really weird shows like some american shows i think south of nowhere is canadian though what's another good show i can do hmm Yeah. Oh, I would love to do like some sliders. So um, I'm a huge sci-fi kind of person. So sliders, quantum leap, some Star Trek. Uh, it's gonna be a huge thing to do a movie. I don't. I don't know if I can do a movie. Maybe it depends on which movie. But yeah. Um, victory or death um thank you for listening if you if you if you're listening uh keep watching the tribe because the tribe's awesome keep the dream alive and uh let me know what other uh episodes you want me to do i'm pretty much gonna just do all the ones that i know are really liked by everyone and uh and ones that are just my favorites so probably my next one would be like um well, my favorite, my favorite tribe episode is uh, season two, episode thirty one. It's when uh, Ebony goes to that dance, or they all go to like this dance club thing, you know, to celebrate or whatever. And then Bray and Ebony get close. Absolutely love that episode. So, yeah, that'll probably be my next one. So, um, yeah, victory or death, keep the dream alive and, um, let me know what you, what, uh, you tribe fans want to see or just common, common fans want to see uh, what shows I can do. So, all right.